Okay, what's going on fellow Rangers? Welcome back to another video on Power Rangers Legacy Wars. My name is Dr. Snow, and today guys, it is time for a new Ranger. And I know you guys are going to like this one. It is time for the Wolf. Jungle Fish! That's right, it is RJ. Look at the flames on his hands. <laughs> we finally have a ranger from Jungle Fury. It is uh, Robert RJ James. He is a legendary attacker class. Uh, let's go ahead and read his bio really quickly, and then we're going to jump to his movesets, and then we're going to go ahead and discuss all his combos and, uh, and so forth. So here we go. Uh, RJ grew up at the Order of the Claw and trained under his father, Master Finn. While RJ was a skilled martial artist, he never felt his father's shark style fit him. Sent out to gain more life experience, RJ opened Jungle Karma Pizza, where he served as the Jungle Fury Rangers boss and mentor. So, alright, so what we can see here, he has two for his primary attacks, he has two strikes. And for his uh, specials, he has two breakers. And he actually has a awesome, awesome super move. So we're gonna get into that um, very shortly. First move is called Alpha Wolf, a quick series of kicks and flips that sends opponents flying. And then we have Hunter's uh, Ploy, using predator-like instincts. RJ lures opponents into false sense of security by dashing back before coming in with a powerful overhand punch. Then we have his wolf beam. It is the two cost, but we're going to get into that. Why is it a two cost? Uh, using the power of the wolf uh, morpher, RJ shoot, shoots a wolf beam for a multi hit combo. And then we have predator bounce. RJ comes in for a stun double fist that sets for an uppercut that tosses opponents into the air like pizza dough. <laughs> nice. And then we do have his super meter or his super move called wolf beam blast. Uh, time to turn up the heat with some extra wolf energy for a supercharged wolf beam blast. So we're definitely going to get into that when we actually do see the character in motion. And then we do have his assist. Uh, it is a 5 cost of a breaker. Flying pounce. RJ swoops in with a double punch knee strike that leaves opponents staggering. Alright, so here we go. We're going to jump straight into training mode. And then uh, hopefully this picture right here, um, Titanium, this, that's going to change for RJ. I cannot wait to see what the artwork looks like. Look at that. Look at that flame fist animation. Love it. All right, here we go. Uh, so first thing, good, we have the shield. So look, first things first, look at his movements. His movements, uh, he, he does like some parkour <laughs> type of awesomeness. Uh, so here we go. We're going to go uh, look at his taunt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, the first move is going to be uh, Alpha Wolf. Once we get out of this stun. Nice block, Black Dragon. All right, here we go. We're going to do it again. Alpha Wolf. So it does. it's a three-hit combo. Uh, you can cancel out of the animation on the first hit. So there goes his... Um, I forgot what that one's called, but here we go. That's Alpha Wolf, and then you can go ahead and cancel. Uh, Hunter's Ploy. That's the other one. So Hunter's Ploy has really good range. So it does like a fake, it does like a fake out, but then you can see how how much range it had right there. Uh, you uh, you cannot uh, cancel after the second animation of the Alpha Wolf. So one, two, you can. You once it's, you only get that one opportunity uh, when you actually do the first kick. Uh, Hunter's Ploy. Uh, look at the distance. The distance is actually pretty good. And then we have his breakers. His wolf beam is two costs. It's about half weight. It's about half screen. And it does a it causes a two hit move. So we're actually gonna try to do that again. Uh, there's his wolf, his other wolf attack. So look at wolf beam. This is wolf beam here. So it's about half screen. Uh, it does cause two hits. And it does cause a stagger, which is great because then you could do the predator bounce right afterwards. Uh, Predator Bounce is about the same range, I would say, like uh, um, Ranger Slayer is. Uh, you can actually see that here. So it's about half screen. So you could go 
uh, Wolf Predator into the bounce, into the Alpha hit. Alright, so that's what you can do there. And here's his Wolf Beam. We're going to block that. Uh, wolf Beam. He throws a gigantic wheel from, from across the map and just um, knocks your opponent up. So here we go is his, uh, his uh, assist there. But it's, it's hard to show examples when the computer moves a lot. So... All right, so his 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 that there goes his uh, assist there. His assist covers full screen. All right, so basically, also another key thing is is that uh, his super meter, how you can actually get it, you actually cannot get it by spamming your assist. If you're gonna look at it right here, that meter does not go up. So if you want to assist spam, you will never ever get meter. How do you get meter? Is by doing moves that cause fire except for his two cost his two cost does not gain meter because it would definitely be super abusive i'm trying to get a shield on the assist slot right here all right there we go all right so uh here we go for example a predator mount predator bounce is a fire move so one two so you will get uh meter for that uh we're gonna go ahead and try to do it again one two See right here, now Wolf Beam will not get you no meter. If, you know, if, if Black Dragon ever works with us, you know? <laughs> Alright, it's definitely hard to give an example there. So here we go. See right there, you see no meter at all. Also too, uh, Wolf Beam does not cause a lot of damage either. So you can actually look at the damage. For obvious reasons, since it is a two cost, it will be very abusive for it to be... Uh, giving a lot of damage so that way you know you as and build a meter that'll be ridiculous this character will be completely broken uh, for that uh, hunter's ploy uh, you do not get uh, you get some meter for his uh, attack there hopefully black dragon stays there you know what Let, let's actually make him stay there all right there we go and this is actually a full screen super uh, this is undodgeable unavoidable uh, you will get hit Unless you're super quick to actually punch him out of the animation before he throws the big wheel at you. Um, it's unavoidable. So you, you definitely will get hit 100%. Uh, here goes Hunter Poi again. Uh, you can see there you actually do get meter. Uh, you cannot cancel out of Hunter's Poi. Uh, it is uncancelable. Um, I'm trying to cancel it, but it's not letting me. Um, Alpha Wolf here. This is something different. On first hit, you do not gain no meter because it is not a fire attack. So, but on second, third hit, you do gain meter, as you can see up there. So that's something that you have to do. Definitely do pay attention to. Uh, Hunter's boy, yeah, Hunter's boy, you cannot cancel out of that. And I think that's pretty much it uh, for RJ. So you can definitely have uh, the Wolf Beam. I believe Wolf Beam is a projectile, or if it's, I don't, I don't know if it's a projectile or not. Uh, I, I believe it's not, no, I believe it is a projectile, so your opponent can actually, uh, dodge out of it. It might, actually might not be, it might not be, it might not be a projectile, so for that, it definitely need to be a little bit more playtesting, uh, but here we go, we're gonna go ahead and do some combos here, so obviously you could probably go, like, wolf beam across the map, into alpha wolf, do some good damage, then into the wolf, uh, wolf beam again, as you can see here, the wolf beam is not doing that much damage and like I said for obvious reasons because it will be a little bit too overpowered so you can definitely go into breaker into wolf beam if we didn't have that shield there that's why I always like to have the shield in the assist slot when uh, doing combos here all right black dragon all right big guy uh, let's, let's continue let's see if we get that shield again on that assist slot and keep showing you guys some a little bit more combos uh, that you can do with RJ so, uh, solely uh, alone. If we ever get the shield there. Alright. Come on. Alright. Uppercut. There we go. Alright. So we got the shield on assist slot. Alright. So you can definitely go. Uh, even you go for startup combos. You can go uh, wolf beam. Stagger your opponent into breaker. Bounce them up. You can even do uh, go into the wolf point. The Hunter's Ploy there to do an extra combo. So your opponent is, is definitely going to be very easily to combo with him. Uh, you can even go, you know, Predator. 
juggle them up into wolf beam, into predator again, stagger them, pop them up again, get meter, throw the meter right at them. So he is definitely, he has very, very high combo potential uh, as a character on his own, which is definitely nice. And I definitely do like that with RJ. So to me, honestly, RJ is very, very solid character. So that's going to be pretty much it for RJ's video. I believe he has a second taunt here. Oh yeah, I love that one. <laughs> but until then, guys, uh, that will be it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about RJ. How cool is he? I think he's actually fantastic. I think he's going to be a great character for everybody to use. Uh, I definitely love his super meter. And um, yeah, I just, I honestly, I think he's a very, very solid contender right off the bat. So until then, once a ranger, always ranger. I'll see you guys in the next video on Power Ranger Legacy Wars. Peace out. Let me know what you guys think about him. And I'll see you guys next time.